Hey guys, how you going? Uh, yeah, my name is Dom and uh, welcome to your 7th Dom7 tutorial. Uh, so today I want to take you through um, the data set method inside Dom7 um, which basically allows you to get the HTML5 data attributes on your elements. Okay, so um, if we take a look at the source code for this document, um, it looks like this right now. So um, for those of you who don't know, um, there are something called HTML5 data attributes which allow you to store um, uh, or associate data with an element. Okay, so um, for example, we have this h1 tag right here and we can actually store some data using key value pairs. Um, so um, let's hop inside um, the h1 tag and add a new attribute. Um, we'll call this one data and then dash, then something like name is equal to uh, DOM. Okay, so now we've, we've defined an HTML5 data attribute um, and the attribute key is called name and the value is called DOM. So we have that key value pair right there and it's associated with this element. Let's add one more. We can say data-age is equal to something like 45. Okay, so um, we have two HTML5 data attributes um, associated with this h1 header. Uh, sorry, uh, h1 header tag. Okay, so um, we can now use the DOM7 library to actually retrieve these values inside the JavaScript. Okay, so inside um, the JavaScript, let's just go down here and define a new constant, and we'll call this one h1 and then data. Okay, so h1 data, this will be equal to um, the return value of the um, DOM7 data set method. Okay, so let's just first select the h1 tag using DOM7. We can pass h1 into there. All right, then we can say dot data set. Okay, so that right there, um, the data set method will actually return um, all of these key value pairs as um, and uh, as a plain JavaScript object. Okay, so um, I can now go down here and I can say console.log h1 data like that. If I was to save this one and refresh the browser inside the console, we can see we get this object here um, with two um, properties. We have age 45 and name DOM. So um, those those properties there reflect um, the HTML5 data attributes. And it's actually even converted um, the data types where possible. So we can see here we have actually two strings because with HTML attributes, um, the value is going to be a string, right? So we have two strings. It's actually converted the number into a native JavaScript number type. Um, so that was quite automatic and um, obviously um, useful if you're um, looking to, you know, work with some of the data that's passed in, um, and it'll even do, it'll even do um, uh, booleans. So we can say data alive. We can say true. Save this and refresh here, and we get this new one alive, and then true as a um, native boolean um, value. All right. So that right there is how you can use um, the data set method inside DOM7. You know what? Let's actually point out real quick. Um, just this this may be missed. You can actually say this. We can say um, data set and then directly call um, and get a property value. So I can say h1 data set and then dot age like that. And now h1 data will contain my age. So I can save this and refresh and we get 45 right there. Okay, so that right there is how you can use the data set method inside the DOM7 library. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.